Well, the clay's in the back of the van and it's ready to go. It had quite a bit of clearance up there. And the hand is over there. Everything's ready to go. So let's hope it gets to Jackson and then eventually to uh, Park City without falling apart. Well, it's not a bad day. It's uh, almost 50 degrees outside, which is ridiculous for Montana and December, which is fine with me. <laughs> I just, if it's global warming, baby, I want it. I love it. I checked uh, online the uh, webcam that they have uh, at the Teton Pass. It's called the Teton Pass Cam. And uh, you can see the road uh, in real time. And uh, it's, the pa it's at the very top of the pass. It looks great. The roads are dry and clear. These are the uh, Madison Mountains. Those are, uh, that's Fan Mountain right there in the center. I used to live right uh, at the base of that thing. Or actually just down, not at the base of it, I lived up to the right of it about a mile or two from the uh, canyon there when I first moved here. Anyway, uh, so I'm heading south. I'm not going to do a full road shot. I'll do things along the way if it feels like something you'd like to see. Um, but basically, I'm just going to get there and meet up with the uh, truck driver. Is gonna, we're going to load it up and so it can be transported down to Park City, Utah today too. So, Clay's riding fine back there and uh, uh, glad it's over. I can take a, a breath. Alright. Well, there's the sinks right there in the uh, center. That's the name of that uh, protrusion of rock and mountain. Uh, a lot of mountain goats up on that uh, mountain. I've flown around that thing within just probably two or three hundred feet of the cliffs in a private plane, and I tell you, it's it's an amazing mountain. All right. Oh, you can see the Grand Teton south of here. That's uh, over a hundred miles south. I am now crossing into Idaho, and right up there. I think you can see it, is the Grand Tetons. Way south of here. I'll be on the other side of those Tetons uh, in Jackson Hole in about uh, three hours or so. Alright, just entered into Wyoming now. This is the third state that I'm in today. It's uh, about 12.30 in the afternoon and I'll be there in about a half hour or so. Uh, just, this is going leading up to the uh, Teton Pass. Now a little traffic jam here because of a moose. <laughs> There's a big one back uh, behind me that uh, with huge antlers. Whoops, there it goes. Alright, I just dropped it off at the uh, gallery. The reason I don't take pictures in the gallery is because the galleries tend to not like people taking pictures in the gallery. But uh, anyway, um, heading home, uh, just dropped it off. It won't be going to Park City until Saturday, which is fine. Okay, this is this side of the uh, Tetons. And uh, it's not usually that you can see them unless it's a clear day, but I, I thought that for sure these mountains would be covered with clouds, but obviously the cloud is uh, really high. Getting ready to go over these mountains on the Teton Pass. At least it's clear. There's probably about uh, three feet of snow up there, but it's completely off the road, which is really nice. I think there's a big moose down here with antlers and everything. Yep, there he is way down there. I don't know if you can see him. Back in Montana from Idaho. It's about a quarter to four in the afternoon and I'm heading north. I've only got 50 miles to go to be in Ennis and home. I am uh, so glad that this trip was uneventful. And uh, I got the clay there in one piece. I'm uh, 
just really happy with the last month and a half of uh, the work that I did on that piece. All right, well, that's going to be it for the rest of this year. I don't think I'm going to be doing anything more except uh, cleaning my studio and uh, looking for paperwork and stuff like that for taxes. <laughs> that's coming up. But uh, looking at the um, end of the Madison mountain range right there, it's, it's beautiful. And uh, going through historic Reynolds Pass right now it's uh it's a nice night uh, it's uh let's see what the temperature is 43 degrees not bad not a bad day at all and i'm getting 26 miles a gallon which is amazing for a van all right that's all gobbledygook and I'll talk to you guys uh, next year. Unless something happens between now and then.